That's brilliant. Last night I went to the comedy cellar with Boschetti. And I, I'm telling you, I watched Mike Boschetti at about 2.30 in the morning. I watched him eat a salad. I've never seen anything like it before. Oh. Uh, now, Mike, is that your new thing in public? You'll just have nothing but salads? I ate a salad for dinner. It was great. But this was 2.30 in the morning. I know. I was hungry. I had to, it's better than going for all the stuff I would have ate, though. Yeah, but I never saw anything like it. You were eating, he was eating a salad essentially with his hands. No. Like it was all green stuff. He had one fork and he had his hand that he was using to put the salad onto the fork. <laughs> so this hand, and there was gargonzola cheese in the mm. salad. So his his left hand was covered in oil, vinegar, and gargonzola <laughs> cheese. And, and there was hardly any lettuce in his mouth. And he just kept eating, mm. eating, not saying anything. And then I said, well, why don't you use a piece of bread to put the, the salad onto the fork? And he said, he actually looked at me and goes, Adi, bread is the enemy. Oh, yeah. Right? I is guess bread so. the enemy? Well, did some trainer <laughs> tell you that? No, no, I just thought it, I was like, bread is the enemy. All right. Well, let me tell you, if bread is the enemy, Mike, it looks like you've done some double agent work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it was a salad, Art. It was a salad. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but the, the thing was, it was disgusting. It stopped me from eating because I was grossed out. It was actually very good deterrent for me. You, oh. were, you were just shoving the salad onto your fork with your hand, and your entire hand was covered in oil and vinegar and gargonzola cheese. It's so it moist. Was, it, was, it was. Your hand looked very moist. Oh, I love goat cheese, though. It's so good. Well, yeah, I know, but, Mike. But this but was they, gargonzola, right? Oh, it was, was goat it, cheese. Was it yeah. goat cheese? Yeah. Was it goat cheese? Yeah. So you got some goat cheese under his fingernails. Yeah. Hey, what kind of dressing do you have on that, Mike? I don't know what the dressing was. You just put a little spice. It was oil it. and vinegar. Oh, okay. Oh, that's, that's good. good. I, mean, I don't mean, know what the dressing was. He's you know abiding the... by his new diet. Yeah, but that's all you ate all night last night. You didn't go home and eat anything else? I went home and chilled out, went to bed. <laughs> I doubt it. You were in those lemon loo pants. Uh, oh, wait. Speaking of that, Art. Well, I mean, well, we have a poser among us. What are you talking about? Not any of us, but Mr. F is a poser. Filato is a total poser. But he is one of us. No, 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 no. What? Because he's a poser. <laughs> because, you know why, Dan? Like, I'm going to give you a chance to say this again. I, I'm, I'm going to give you a chance to form a sentence again. Okay. okay. Explain this bit you wanted to talk about. Right Dan now. passes himself off as the average Joe, you know, a guy that's like... The guy He's next door, Indian. or you know, like he passes himself off as the and, average Joe. You know, someone Joe. should be in a Chevrolet commercial. You know what I mean? Something a like Chevrolet that. A Chevrolet commercial. Yeah, but the, the, he doesn't uh, even have a car. I know, but this is the real Dan that I think is. Uh, listen to this, art, right? Where is this from, Mike? I just thought this in my head, right? Uh, hold oh, on. you thought of this in your head. Dan <laughs> Were is you a man. Eating a salad when you thought about this. Dan is a man of major means. He smokes hundred dollar Cuban cigars. And, and wears $200 flip-flops in his penthouse near the rooftop pool in an undisclosed Manhattan location. <laughs> right. Cursing Rudolf, <laughs> Rudolf Murdoch. <laughs> What's he talking about? Right. I have no clue. And calling, more me and calling uh, what do you call it, in, uh, what do you call it, and what, while he's watching Notting Hill ordering his handmade <laughs> custom clothes from Blue Meats and LLB. Can, like, can I stop the bit? Is Nottingham Hill anywhere close to Notting Hill? Can I stop the bit right now, Mike? Okay, sorry, sorry. What are you talking about? No, Dan is a poser. He's like, you know what I mean? He, he's like, you know. But the, what, where did you find this stuff out? Are you just making it up? No, I, I kind of, I can sense it for some reason. Mm -hmm. He's always ragging on Liz Marie about, about you know, stuff, money when did stuff. You, but, when did you write this? Uh, about a, a, a few minutes ago. Was this a voice in your head? How long did it take for you to write this? About 10 minutes, I think. I took my time. No, because I was going to guess four minutes. No, but odd. I was saying Dan probably also goes to brunch with his, his buddies from uh, the LL Mail crew models. J crew models. LL Mail <laughs> crew models. I've never J seen, crew models. I've never seen someone write a worse bit and execute it <laughs> more poorly. That was Ooh. a combination of bad writing and bad execution on every Ooh. level. Yeah. But I what, 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 the. Uh, now, are you defending the girls? Is that what you're doing? It sounds like the girls are, like, complaining. Because Liz said no, to me today, Liz says to me today, I got here a little early today, and uh, Liz said to me about Dan, she said, he's the weirdest person I've ever met in my life. Liz, come out here. <laughs> oh. I want to I wanna, I wanna hear what, what you're talking about. D Dan came out and said something. Uh, I don't know. He, he was acting normal to me, but... Uh, Remember when you asked me, Dan, to go in the back and sign those baseball cards? Yes. He said, come in my back office. Yes. And I said, okay, maybe. And he went in the back office, and Liz just goes, he's the weirdest person I've ever met. 
I didn't mean it in a bad way. What does that mean? <laughs> Artie, do you want to sign the baseball cards that you no, are required to no, sign no, no, for a goes, large oh, sum of money? Me. And he's just funny like that. I don't know. What do you mean funny? What does that mean? That, why is he weird? I don't know. He's, he's weird. He's weird. It's just, you know, his communication and then all these stories about people that he knows. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. He's just very, <laughs> he's interesting. Do you feel he's lying about the people he knows? No, I don't, no, not at all. Well, Marie then why says, is yes, that? I don't think he's oh, lying. Oh, Marie thinks, you do think he's lying? About Probably who? Probably 88% of the time. 88% <laughs> of the time. <laughs> no, but Dan is this has has another Bushetti bit? In Hollywood. It's pretty he exact. He has a lot of friends that are up there. What, what uh, did you say, Mike? How do you know, like, what? No, but he brought Harry Sherry here. Dan definitely yes. knows people like that for sure. For sure. sure. Bill Murray, all kinds of big people. He's just humble about it. So I'm maybe sure. you should be nicer to Dan to get part of the machine. Oh, wow. Yeah. See, Liz knows how it operates. Mm. These two are, they, they know what they're doing. That's right. Well, Dan, I'm sorry, buddy. I, I apologize for everything that they're bad. Uh, there you go. Please don't get out. I want to know who Marie thinks he's lying about. I said 88% of the but people. But who? who in like, I don't you know. know. Where's Bill Murray? I haven't had bacon in a long time. It's wow. How long? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. Yes. But I don't like bacon. Well, how do you maintain your 400 pound uh, bulk? Uh, I, maybe it's a couple less than 400 pounds now. I've been eating healthier. No. I mean, you look you look morbidly obese. <laughs> I mean, I do too. Yeah, but does this help? No. <laughs> it actually makes it worse. No, what, what, I mean, I, I want you to see, because the difference between me and you is you want to live a long life. You understand? Now, what, what are you, what steps are you taking? You're eating salad. Eating salad? Are you no, jogging? I gotta start exercising now, soon. Jake, how are you feeling? Are you feeling good? Yeah, but you should have a long life with, a, with, with your sons in his forties. I'm sit here with that bullshit right now. No, but it's true. With your love, your beloved. I'm sit here with this bullshit right now. Dan, talk to him. You, he'll listen to you. So we're doing a little wrap up of the week, and I think it went well. You know, you Shane just suggested he wished he could hear what went through my head all the time. I said I'd probably be fired. I just wish that like at any moment during the day, like I could just like I could do this and I could hear what you're thinking because I see the looks in your eyes, and I'm just like, what the hell is going through your mind right now? Nothing pleasant. Sometimes I think nothing. Just period. You know, but other a lot times, of people I'm sure would some say that. Some interesting things. And I'm sure they wish it was true, but it's not. There's a lot going on. Do you think you'd have any friends on the show if I could hear what you were saying? None. Not even Bushetti. Except for Mike. And Liz, I have to because I live here. I don't even think Liz, though. Sometimes. You've seen us fight. <laughs> but I, I hear the stuff that's going through your mind about her. Yeah. Because, yeah, you've seen it. Yeah. And it's not pretty. And you went off on everybody else about putting these crumbs of pretzels when it was Liz who was the one who made the big deal out of it. This is called the cleanup. All right. Damn, back off. You'll find fresh video on YouTube and on ArtieLangShow.com, along with our web stream, podcasts, photo booth pics, and the latest tweets. Let's get back to the show. Here is Artie Lang. Hey! What's up? Welcome back to the Artie Lang Show. We're about to do... Uh do another segment that everyone loves on the show. This is called I Text It, Boschetti Reads It. And I text something to Mike Boschetti and live on the air without, without rehearsing it, without looking at it. He just immediately reads it for the fans. Does he know how to work his phone now, though? Yeah, no, we, we had trouble with this. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm just, I'm just... Uh, on Friday. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just uh, checking and editing my... Is that a new phone, Mike? I got, I got, actually got two phones now, John. Jeez. Two different numbers, yeah. Why? One, uh, Dan inspired me to get called Chump Line for idiots, and the other one's for people that are important. That's right. Dan knows all about Chump Line. Wait, I don't understand. <laughs> like, one number you give out, like, you know, people want you to really break your chops, and like, maybe, you know, annoying people, and then the other one's for people you love. It's right. when you want to give someone your number because you feel bad, but you don't want to talk to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, in case yeah, they right. call that number while you're in front of them, it a phone goes off. Yeah, it's called the chump line, yeah. Yeah, Dan Dan invented this. He invented he did, it. He, he, Dan patterned it. Yeah, patterned it? Patterned it. <laughs> All right, Mike, wow. we're going to interface technology with comedy here on the Artie Lang Show. Something I devised. I'm going to text you something, Mike, and without rehearsing it, without looking at it twice, just try to say it as articulate as you can. I want you to just immediately say it on the air. 
Okay. And if we're not happy with the first take, we will ask you to do it again. So uh, I'm going to text it to you, and you will get it. And they're interfacing technology and comedy. I'm sending it, Mike. Mike, I'm sending it. Mike, I have a full bar. Mike, I have a full bar. You should be getting the text. Oh, okay. Okay, read it when you can. Okay. This is the Artie Lang Show. It's called I Text It. Bush Eddie reads it. Can a real man out there dress up like Pippi Longstock and have sex with my pretty little pig mount? <laughs> <laughs> Real quick, Mike. Again, you said a little too quick. There, there was a couple of things that weren't exactly right. So just say it one more time. Okay, let me just get my phone in gear here. <laughs> okay. Can a real man out there? Oh, oh, I saw. I'm sorry. Can a real man out there? Dress me up like a pig, Pippi Longstocking and have sex with my pretty little pig mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you nailed it. Pretty little pig mouth. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. oh, that's great. Oh, that's great. I'm going to try it again. You ready? Okay, let me just... Okay. Wait, wait. Uh, I, I got to compose it. I got to compose I got to think of one. Now, is this something uh, you and Mike have what? talked about? On we occasion? did it one other time, no, one other time on the show months ago. No, I, I mean, no, the desire that he just expressed. Is that something that no, he's No, 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 no. This is just something that, uh, this is my graphic novel. Mm, got it. Mike, do you notice the difference between this segment and your opening segment? People laughed at this one. <laughs> oh, Dan. He's I tried, all over you about that segment. I tried to be gentleman and apologize, Dan. I'm sorry. I, I said you were Well, awesome apologize to the audience, not me. <laughs> Whoa! Hi, America. Just, Hi, Audie. How you guys doing? Huh? Just crickets. <laughs> uh, what do you say about that, Mike? Uh, Dan has the upper hand on me. He's been around radio a long time. I respect him and love him. He's, he's a good guy, and I should have never been rude and obnoxious and an idiot. And uh, I apologize, Mr. Filato. Wow. That was very nice. I, it was like you're apologizing to a mafia, Don. Sincere. No, I meant it, Dan. Now come over here and kiss my ring. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to do that far, but I apologize, Dan. Sorry, buddy. I appreciate that, Mike. How do you spell crease? C R E A S E. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, no. He's talking about hockey, Mike. It's an evocative word. <laughs> no, I can imagine what's going to be coming out of my mouth after this now. Exactly. Oh, no. I'm just trying to interface comedy with technology. This is cutting edge. Uh, what other show has two the, the two guys that the cameras are on are both watching their phones <laughs> and not saying anything? What other show? Uh, uh, I always thought technology was faster than this. <laughs> not, for, not, not with me. Not me either. Not me either. Right, wait, let, me just, let me just make sure I'm interfacing technology and comedy. Uh, Okay, you ready? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, to, it's all set. This is called, okay. I text it, Bush Eddie reads it. We're interfacing uh, comedy and technology. I've sent it, Mike, I've sent it. I have a full bar. Okay. Mike, I have a full bar. Just read it as, oh, okay. as, as articulately as you can. Go right ahead. Okay. <laughs> With emotion. All right. Oh, no, okay. Hey, okay. Hey, big boy, why don't you put a bag and make the crease between my second and third chin sticky from love juice? <laughs> 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 What's the way to take a bag? Oh, I'll no, he doesn't, he doesn't read it, read it properly. Like, hey, big boy, <laughs> why don't you put a bag and make my crease between my second and third No, 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 chin. stop, stop, don't do it with emotion. No, it's better the way oh, you okay, take sorry. a bag. No, no, no. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'll do it one more, I'm sorry. Hey, big boy, why don't you put a bag and make my, the crease... Put on a bag! Okay, hey, big boy, why don't you put on a bag and make my... Make the crease between my second and third chin sticky from love juice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. That's we're, yeah. in, we're interfacing. We're interfacing technology and comedy. Mike makes available a new fetish that you bring up there. Absolutely, oh, no. Oh, no. that I'd never thought about until now. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> okay, one more.